What is up, everybody? I see Mike back after a little bit of a break. I want to apologize to you guys. I haven't uploaded in almost a week, and it's just been obviously YouTube is not my uh, main money maker. I don't even make any money uh, on YouTube, so I have a real life job, and that's just gotten a little crazy the last week. Um, as well as just kind of uh, other real life personal things. But anyways, enough of that. Just wanted to apologize. But uh, to make up for it, I'm going to be uploading Hearts of Iron for the next week every day. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, except for one day I won't because I will be uploading a tutorial instead. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get going. This is episode 16. And in the last episode, we... Um, you know, we're fending off the Germans, and I think we're doing a pretty good job of it. We pretty much, our main battles are in the Switzerland territory, and um, we're, we're trying to hold them off long enough where these forts can get max, you know, they're built to the max. I think they're like level 3 and level 5 right now, if we look. Um, well, right when it's saving. Yeah, level 3 and level 5, so we just want to keep holding off if they get attacked then uh, they stop being built. So we need to make sure that we defend them. But we're doing okay so far. Pretty happy with how it's going. Meanwhile, UK and many other countries are placing their attacks on the Italians and Germans as well. And we're just going to play defense. We'll counterattack at a later time. But um, I, I, I could probably bump it up a little bit for now. Synthetic oil experiments completed. So let's go ahead, knock up some more research. So this is probably useful. We're in 1941 now though, so I need to go ahead and do this tree. Factory output and efficiency cap. Both of these are really good, 170 days each. Doesn't really matter, we'll just start from the left. Our reduction time is minus 15%, which is sweet. And we need to build some more refineries now that... Uh, We've got the technology to do it. So let's build a couple there. Or just one. Sure. Sure game. Sure. Okay, we'll build four there. Um, we'll put one... Ah, uh, I don't want to put one in Normandy. Let's do back here. And... Going to bump them up to the top. Everything keeps getting pushed back down. There's just like so many more priorities. I definitely want the forts up top though. Let's do those and a couple factories. We'll do all four factories actually. Then I'll do the oil. Okay. Go ahead and hit play now. Also could probably build a radar station here. Someone suggested that. I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and put that in the queue. That one's not high priority right now. Let's do one there, or three all the way. Okay, our focus is done. So we're, all that's pretty much complete. I'm not real crazy about the high, the heavy fighter focus right now. Let's do the improved ship screens, which will give us 50% uh, on the uh, submarines and destroyer models. So when we really like get later game here and start really taking over some territory, our navy is going to be pretty important. Let's take a gander at Africa. Um, it doesn't look good. <laughs> of course, I didn't leave any troops here. Um, I was hoping maybe the UK would be able to do a little bit more than what it is. So I basically have given it up. Germany actually has a lot of troops here too, which is kind of crazy. I just I don't I don't want to get involved. I mean I've got I got to hold this off. I think this is the main priority. All my infrastructure, everything that's important up here, I want to make sure I don't lose it at all. So that is what I'm gonna do. That is what my focus is. So if we look here, the counterattack actually is showing that it would be successful, which is pretty cool, which means that we're doing a pretty good job, I think. Now, I don't want to do it yet. I want to keep holding off because they are still attacking, um, and I think it's mainly due to Germany probably moving their troops in other directions. So 
if I was to do that counterattack, they would probably come back. So I just want to keep holding tight. I uh, don't want to get impatient. 440,000. They are definitely losing. UK's only lost 400 themselves. And we have only lost 52,000. So freaking awesome. Perfect stuff. Still holding this little province here. Checking in on our construction. Oh, I put these at the top. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted these to go first. Whoops. Lost a little bit of time on the the fact the uh, fort construction. Should be okay, though. Now, manpower is low. That's expected. We're going to save up enough political power to change that conscription. So if we look, we need at least 150. If not more, 300. But there's some other stuff that, you know, could be useful to get. Some military commands, stuff like that. Well, we'll look at that a little bit later. I'm going to let some political power kind of join up. U.S. is sending us more volunteers. Always good to know that the U.S. is starting to get involved. Um, perfect. When they get involved, things are going to get real crazy. Real fast. Uh, looks like we have a engagement up here. 77. Holding on strong. Just don't want to let that go. 40 here. Perfect. And 94. They are pushing here. This is still... Our fort's back here, so total, totally fine. Air superiority, I mean, we've got all of this locked down, and even some of Germany. Still have success marks there. Check marks, success marks. Now, the Italian one's a little bit harder because it's mountainous, so it's, it's still telling us it's risky, but... Like I said, we, we won't be doing any of that, and most likely we'll be doing naval invasions on Italy anyways. We probably don't want to fight over here, um, unless somehow I was to kind of come around here, but even then, I, th I think naval invasions are going to be better. I have plenty of convoys, but I do want to look, did I... We do want to do this one. Um, I don't know what time frame, we're in 1940, so this is probably something I want to do here pretty soon. Um, if we are going to be doing naval invasions, I want to have that research. So maybe we can get that done here in a little bit. 84 right here. Small little attack there. They got, they got pushed off. So, 4 and 6. Moving along. Good. Keep getting more volunteers. Which is freaking awesome. Just going to make this even harder for the Germans to break through. I mean, honestly, I don't think they're going to come through. I think they, they're pretty much set on the fact that they're not going to be able to. Um, they're probably going to end up moving elsewhere, which is good. The more time we have, the more infrastructure I can build, and the greater chance of winning this war, baby. Which is ultimately the goal, right? Looks like we're getting another attack here. Holding them off good. We moved our tank divisions there in the last couple of episodes. Okay, computing machine, so research speed is even going to be higher now. Minus 20%. Not quite ready for that one. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. That way I don't have to worry about it later. I was thinking about it, just want to get it knocked out. So get that done. It'll be done in 170 days. Check the German numbers up to 480. We're probably a little bit higher, 53, still not bad. UK's at 500. So UK's definitely, uh, they're losing a lot of troops, but it's, I think it's mainly due to the conquest in Africa. And there's the US divisions. Yeah, I think this is the main reason why UK is uh, losing big time. So this is going to be a Pretty big problem. Germany has so many troops down here. Pretty crazy. Or I guess that's the Axis flag. Maybe it's... I don't know. It's all Italian troops. So maybe it's just Italy. It's unfortunate I gave that up. I'm wondering if that was a bad call. I just don't know if I could have defended it. You know, both of them. Maybe now, knowing what I know and how well this is holding up, I probably could have. I wasn't real sure if I could even accomplish this. So... 
That's the main thing. And this one's lagging behind a little bit because it keeps getting attacked, unfortunately. But we're doing a fantastic job. Indeed, a Rooney. This one back, went back to risky. See, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't. Just because it's a check mark doesn't mean you're actually going to win. I mean, reinforcements come in really change change the game up. These are the uh, other divisions here. It's crazy what's happened in Africa. Crazy, crazy. What is Japan? They're still doing their conquests on China. What is there? Can we see what they're? The Divine Wind. Strike the USA. They're getting. They're going to do that one pretty soon, probably. Okay. Well. Still holding this little province. Honestly, I thought we were going to lose this one. Just uh, the way it's kind of really just isolated. I didn't think I was going to be able to hold on to it, but look, looks like I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit. We are winning. Okay, so we're losing here. I don't like that. Is that from an invasion? I don't really know. are fortified. I'm pretty sure that's like an invasion. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Yeah, I just don't think Germany is going to be able to push through. Got a freaking concrete wall, baby. What's going on here? Oh, invasions from other countries from mine. Just going to let them do all the dirty work right now. Um, let me check. Naval, blah, blah, blah. Army logistics, tactical bombing, fleet logistics, commando. Yeah, I think at this point, this is a conversion cost or radar station, rocket site, nuclear reactor, construction speed. This is a pretty good one, but I think I want to save up for the conscription change. I think that's... I think that's the biggest deal here because when we start, when we do get ready to, to produce troops, we're not going to have much manpower to work with unless I change conscription. Uh, so definitely want to make sure we're doing that here. Everything is green. We're a little short on support equipment. This is 66,000 after switching it from the infantry equipment. Totally okay. Um, no factories assigned. I guess they got destroyed. Okay, more research complete. Oh yeah, that doctrine was done. 160 days for fighter detection. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one too. Let's get that speed up and caught up to the time that we're currently in. And another doctrine done. So that was a defense one, so that's really going to help. That was a good one to complete. That was uh, this one, so it gave us plus 10% de uh, defense. This is breakthrough, so this is when we're going to get ready to attack, so I'm not too crazy about that right now. Uh, rocket artillery. Do I want to? This one I probably want to do. So let's go ahead and do that. 80 days for that. Give us the improved artillery. Perfect. Definitely want more factories than I have, but got to do that at a slow pace because that is the way France is, unfortunately. Make sure we still got air, air superiority, which we do. Awesome. We aren't producing any more planes, which is kind of bothersome. Uh, there's no factories assigned, which is kind of sucky. I guess they got destroyed or something. I'm not real sure what happened. They probably got bombed, maybe? They're probably down here at the repair. No, there's nothing to repair. I don't know. 
Oh, you know what? When we switched them, they got reassigned. That's what happened. So they're, they're reassigned. Okay, so... Alright. The war... Continues. The French shall prevail. Man, this is, uh, just, I'm so happy right now. I really didn't think it was going to go this well, and it's going a lot better. Going a lot, lot better. So, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, but I will see you all in the next episode.